Today we're going to mix some earth, topsoil, black loom, compost, and we're going to start filling our box with the peat moss that I got there. So right now I got one load that was delivered and there's still two more loads coming. So I'm going to have to start digging and prepping my box. So this whole load right here is probably just enough with my uh, peat moss to fill up my uh, two boxes there. Okay, so let's get working on them uh, them beds, and uh, I'll get back to you. See you in a minute. Well, now comes some more physical labor. So I'm going to uh, take pretty well three quarters of this mound, mix it with the peat moss. Let's fill up them two uh, garden beds. This is excellent stuff. Nice and black. Excellent mixture of manure, topsoil, compost. It's, it's, it's great stuff. This will make the garden flourish. chunk of manure in there. This is good stuff. So we're going to uh, load the beds, pick them all up, then I'll uh, sprinkle some lime on top, get the acid out. Then I got some uh, other type of fertilizer that I'm going to put in. That should help quite a bit. So anyways, I'm going to continue on and I'll get right back to you guys. See you in a minute. Once again, thanks for uh, dropping by. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Both of my uh, raised beds have five wheelbarrow loads of uh, my earth mix. So now I'm just going to rake it all out and start putting in my uh, peat moss. So I'll get back to you when I, uh, when I got it all leveled out. Okay, so she's all raked out. Now I'm going to add some uh, peat moss to, to fluff it all up so the earth will be nice and airy. see how nice that is and you can see it blowing in the wind she's pretty dry but once I mix that with the compost and the topsoil and then start bringing it to life 
and keeping it nice and moist, that's going to be great stuff. Okay, so right now I'll just mix it all in and then I'll get some more topsoil and we'll see how we get the from there. Be back in a minute. Okay, so I put another uh, two wheelbarrows in each crate. I'll just level it out a bit and I'll put another bag of uh, peat moss in each and then I'll put some more dirt. And after that, I'm going to mix it all together with a shovel. And also just to let you know, if you get a lot of wood, punk wood, decaying wood, leave that in your garden. When that breaks down, that's nothing but good stuff. So don't take it out, leave it right in. Now I'm going to mix that up, and I'm going to fill it all up with topsoil, then I'm going to turn it. See you right back. So again, when you're using your peat moss, and you're using your topsoil, make sure there's layers, alright? Don't be shy of using a lot of peat moss. Peat moss is nothing but goodness. It, it holds moisture. so. Every time it rains and you've got all your layers built up, even though the top of your garden may look like it's dry because of the heat of the summer, you just put your hands in maybe an inch or so underneath that and you're going to feel all the moisture that your uh, peat moss is holding. All the roots will be in there. So even though the top seems dry, your garden will hold a lot of moisture and your plants, your plants will just bud, flower, 
and you'll get a lot of fruit. Don't be shy, use a lot, mix it well. Mine's all going to be in layers. And then when I'm done, I'm just going to agitate the ground a bit, clean her up, lime it, fertilize it, and then whenever it's, uh, let's say, the second week of June or whatever, I'm going to plant. Be right back. All right, a little bit of an update. So far, in each bed, I have 10 weir barrels of uh, topsoil, black loom, manure, compost, and I also have in each bed 214 liters of peat moss. So what I got left to do now is just to uh, take the beds, level them all out, see what I have left, and then probably use a half a bag of peat moss just to cover it up and then agitate everything and mix it all up and then uh, fertilize it, lime it, and then we'll be done with this video. So that's what I have so far and I'll be right back. All right, so anyways, that task is done. Both beds are full. It's all layered with the, uh, the compost, the topsoil, the black loom, and uh, also with the, the peat moss. It's all layered all the way through. Peat moss is the best thing, holds a lot of moisture. Um, it'll keep your roots um, wet. It'll keep your ground soft. If you're going to, um, w when you're weeding your garden, if you've got a lot of peat moss and soft ground, the weeds just, you don't have to fight to weed your garden. So that, that's done. The both beds are complete now as far as that goes. What I have left to do is when all the rest of my material come in, i got to build a dome. So both of them will have a dome. And we'll cover that in the next video. But right now, I want to uh, take my earth and everything that's in here, and make it the best thing for vegetables. So, in here I have fertilizer. Okay, where's the, I don't know if you can see it. Okay, right here, 10, 20, 20. Okay, the 10 is nitrogen. That's 10% nitrogen, okay. The 20, is 20% potassium, 20% phosphorus. The nitrogen, you gotta be careful with the nitrogen, okay? 10% nitrogen is perfect for a vegetable garden. Perfect, just the right amount. You don't wanna go too high. You don't wanna go 20, 20, 20, or sometimes you can go 20, 30, you know, 10, or you can go 20, 10, 20, but nitrogen is always your first number. Your second is phosphorus. Third is your potassium, okay? The nitrogen is what you've got to keep an eye on. If you're growing a vegetable garden, it's very finicky. Nitrogen, no more than 10%. If you're growing beautiful flowers, uh, all kinds of stuff like that, um, yeah, then you can go 20, 20, 20. That's not a problem. But you just got to make sure that when you're using your fertilizer, you, you follow the instructions. Okay, <laughs> don't put a lot on it because you're just going to burn it right out. But for a vegetable garden, 10, 20, 20. All right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to slowly sprinkle some all over my garden, both beds here. Nice, nice sprinkle. Because you got to remember, I, I can't plant for another three weeks, so I'm just getting ready because we have a lot of frost yet. We'll probably get maybe two, three more nights uh, or mornings of frost before uh, before the second week of June, right? So anyone who plants before June, where I live, is playing Russian roulette with the frost, and so that's not good. So I'm going to cover my garden with that, spread it out, you know, equally, but not lots. Do not put lots. But what I'm also going to do is this is lime, all right? I'm going to also take lime and cover these two beds. The lime 
okay, what the line does basically is two things. Okay, the line will uh, create and uh, activate your pH level in your earth. Okay, it'll maintain it, it'll build it, and you need that for for all all green life. But for for a vegetable garden, that's going to really really benefit. So if you lime your soil you're going to get a higher pH level and everything's going to thrive. Also, um, okay, if you have a lot of um, uh, pine in your area and you've got a lot of pine needles in your soil, well your soil can get uh, very acidic. Uh, certain vegetation will create very acidic soil. This here will neutralize that acidity, you know. If, if you spread this generously, you'll get a nice pH level in your in your uh, in your soil, and this is long lasting. Okay, so if you put it on early spring, it'll neutralize all the acid in your uh, in your soil throughout the whole growing season, and throughout the whole growing season, you'll keep the pH level high. So between this and the fertilizer, you should have a very nice vegetable garden. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle this out. I'll be generous with this, but I'll be sparingly with this, okay? This, this bag here is going to cover these two beds, my main garden and my other side garden, probably the next four years, just to give you an idea how much I'm going to use, so probably the next four years. This bag of lime will probably last me two years. Okay, so anyways, all I'm going to do now is spread all that out, and then when I'm done, I'm going to agitate everything, work, work in the ground. Then I'm going to uh, take my water hose, and I'm going to saturate this. I'm going to saturate this like crazy. Because what, what it's going to do, it's going to, it's going to compress a bit, right? But it's going to... All my layers of uh, peat moss and uh, all everything else, my soil, I need to get that very damp, very moist before I start planting. It's got to hold that moisture. So I'm going to saturate both beds and then I'll see how much it goes down. And if I got to throw on some more dirt and some more peat moss and mix it in, so I will. Because what I want is. I want it level with the top of the boards, okay, right across. I want it perfectly level right across. Because when I build the, um, the roof, the canopy roof, and frame it in, I want it nice. All right? So anyways, guys, thanks for coming. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my videos. And hit the bell for upcoming uh, notifications. So thanks very much. You guys take care. Bye now.
and that's how you do it. Take care, guys. Okay, just one closing uh, thought. I saturated these beds about four times. And on the last soaking, it took a while for it to seep through. So now I'll give it a few more days before I do it again. But if you notice how white my beds are now. Okay. That's eggshells. We save all our eggshells. When we have breakfast, crack a couple eggs, we just rinse them under some water, and then under the cupboard we have a garbage pail, and we just give it a crush with our hands and throw it in the garbage pail. When that garbage pail is full, my wife puts them in the oven, dries them right out, and then we turn around and we use a grinder and we grind it into powder. That's 100% pure calcium. That really works great in your garden once it starts breaking down. We've been doing it for a few years now and uh, I'm telling you it makes a big big difference. So all that all that stuff that you see right there that's all eggshell powder. Okay guys that's another tip and great for the garden. Okay. Take care. Bye now.